Hi everyone, welcome back to my cleft lip video series. Today's look is a bold lip, which obviously I do not have on right now. I've just got the area around my lips nice and prepped and ready for color. If you want to do a more neutral lip, I did that in my last video, so you can go check that out. I'll link it below. And this is all part of a bigger series on makeup and on cleft lip and beauty and I would love for you to watch the other videos too to give you some context for what I'm doing in the makeup tutorials. That being said, let's get on to it. I never ever would have done a bright or bold lip color when I was younger. I was so ashamed of my scar and my lip that I just didn't want to draw any attention to it. Typically my go-to is still a more neutral color, but I have learned that I have fun with bold colors, especially a classic red lip. I think it's so fun and it can make you even feel like just confident and that you can take on the world. Why would we not allow ourselves to do that? Yeah, we've got a cleft lip. So what? You can still rock a bold lip color. I'm going to list below some of my absolute favorite bold lip colors, but I'm going to show you just a few. If you want to get that classic red look, definitely use a lip liner because red will feather and bleed and not look so pretty. So you want to keep it very precise with that lip liner and then you can fill it in. I like to use a very true red, nothing too orangey, nothing too brick colored. I like a really true red because that looks good on my skin tone and also um, it helps make your teeth look whiter as opposed to more yellow. Um, if you want to go a different route, you could use a dark purple or something like this. This is really kind of on trend right now. I may watch this video like 10 years from now and be like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? That looks awful. But bold lips are really trendy right now. So we've got a purple here and then one of my favorite new ones that I discovered was the Bite line. This is actually a dual side, so I'm loving this London Berry, and it is bright. It is like Barbie hot pink, so you gotta have confidence when you rock these colors, but you absolutely can do it. What I'm going to do today is a shade that looks like this. It is one of my absolute favorites. First of all, because it is one of my favorite kinds of lip product. It's the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. And the applicator has a really precise tip so you can just apply it without needing lip liner and it goes on very precisely. I get compliments on this every time I wear it. So when I go for a bold lip, this is one of my go-to products. What you first wanna do is have yourself prepped. You can check out my video on prepping and concealing. I've concealed kind of over my natural lip line a little bit and I've used some lip balm. Now I can use the color, the bold color, to kind of create the shape of a lip that I want. So I'm going to go in and get started on that. And I like to start in the center and then kind of work my way out a little bit. Okay, this is not done yet, but I just want to point out that because of the precision applicator, you can really define what shape lip you want to have. And then I leave the center and top of my lip to the last part because that's where I want to be really precise and I will give myself a little bit of a cupid's bow, but I'm going to keep it pretty natural to my lip line. And again, you kind of want to move your lip around a little bit because you are not always going to have your lips in one position. So make sure it looks good when you smile or when you talk. Also, again, make sure you get the underside of your lip too because even though it doesn't show when you're just straight on, if you smile, it starts to show. So get that as well. Now I'm just gonna do the bottom lip 
Again, just shape it as you go, staying close to your natural lip line. Just like I did with the more neutral lip color, I especially want to do with this color, blot the inside of your lips so that it doesn't get on your teeth. That would have all been on my teeth. One other tip that I have for you is if you don't want to fully blot your lips but you want to take away a little bit of the shimmer or uh, glossiness if you're using a very glossy product, these cream lip stains, they settle into your lip and they will not have a glossy finish. They have a very cream natural finish, which I love. But let's say you put on something glossy and you don't want it so glossy. What you can do is take a tissue, drape it gently over your lips, and then take a brush with some translucent powder on it and brush over the tissue. And that will set your lipstick and take away any extra sheen. So it would look something like this. Okay, now I didn't actually have translucent powder on my brush, but I just wanted to show you the technique because it's really useful to know. Just know that if you have a cleft lip or if you're insecure about a certain part of your face, you can still accentuate that part of your face. If there's a bold lip look that you love, do not let anything stop you from wearing it. You can rock it, you can look great, and you can be confident with it. You are just as beautiful and just as worthy to wear any kind of makeup you want as anybody else.